Sadly, it's that time, folks. We're right up in the clouds, and it, although it says it's getting warmer in a bit, it's freezing, so enough's enough. I'm going to put my Risha stuff back on. <laughs> Good morning, just about to leave my lovely digs in Ronda. This was lovely last night, the food were lovely, the people were lovely, the place is stunning and it was 29 quid. 29 quid. Right, well this morning, obviously we're heading north, but uh, whilst we're here I'm going to nip 10 minutes south to have a look at and photograph the Puente Nuevo old um, arched bridge it's only 10 minutes south of where we are so I thought why not let's go down and have a look let's see if I can get out of this maze <laughs> yeah thank you to uh, Ronda Moments that was a lovely stay that was cheap as chips it's fresh this morning it's 4 degrees 4 degrees we're up in the mountains we're up in the montaña that's why. Let's get them bloody grips on. Highs of 15 it says today. Is this going to take me up a trail? Is it one that's passable or not? So we'll see, won't we? Good morning all. Are we going to be able to get out here? That is the question. Struggling to see with that sun being so low. Don't expect to be off-roading so soon this morning. Oh yeah, lovely night last night. I had, um... Good morning, young man. And you, good morning. I had, um, what did I have for starters? Oh, a vegetable soup for starters. Then I had a tapas of uh, chorito. And I also had a main of hamburguesa. She said, oh, maybe too much. I'm like, wow. And it weren't at all. <laughs> nice though. But you can tell that we are now no longer in Morocco. So the, the room was 29 quid. The food was 50 euros, so uh, yeah, well that was loads easier. So I came under that last night, didn't I, but I went all the way down there. If I'd have known that, I could have just gone that way. Well, ah, bloody hell, you would have known it, would you? Well, loads easier to get to doing that. Yeah, it'd be a shame to be this close to the bridge and not go and see it. And it's a shame, because this that we're going to see now is absolutely beautiful and it really deserves a drone shot. We haven't got the drone, have we? That's uh, obviously illegal in Morocco, so I didn't want to risk it. And I think today we're going to head up towards, whether we'll meet it or not, towards Toledo. Toledo? Toledo, I would, I would assume. But it's a good trek, I think. Yesterday's ride up here was something else. That road coming up to Ronda. Amazing. Amazing road. I'll tell you something as well, because it was because it's Spain and it was um, on show, I treated myself last night to a beer. And you know, I feel groggy this morning. I only had uh, two little um, pequeña, two small beers. I feel a little bit groggy. Just goes to show you, doesn't it? Not like Headachey or anything like that, I, I had nowhere near enough, I only had two little beers. But I, feel, I just feel a bit like, I don't know, like a bit snotty, a bit just not as fresh as I have done all week in Morocco. You know, with the um, no alcohol thing. I don't know uh, what kind of photos I'll be able to get this morning because I don't know what uh, viewing there is for this bridge. But from the sky, it looks absolutely amazing. Look at this picture now. From the sky, this looks so impressive. 
but I don't think we'll be able to get that kind of view without a drone. Well, I know it won't. But yeah, I, I so wish I'd got my drone on me to get this shot. I do, you know, I feel a bit groggy this morning. I'm a bit phlegmy and not fresh. Just goes to show you, don't it, filthy beer. God knows how your body deals with a session. You know when you have a proper session and you're smashed and... God knows how your body deals with that. We'll be on the top of it in a second. So all this basically is built on top of um, a rock essentially, a canyon. Built right on the edge of it. And you'll see in a second when we cross the bridge. Old ancient arched bridge. So the bull ring should be either this side or the other side of the bridge, depending on which way we're coming into it. Oh, here it is. Here's the bull ring. A working bull ring. And the bridge is right here. Gotta be able to find somewhere to photograph it. Park up. Cool. So they might be able to whack it here, look. <laughs> oh, look at this. We're gonna have a look out there. And you know, if you didn't know about this, you'd just ride straight over it, wouldn't you? Oh, look at that. Wow. Need to really be going over there. Ah, some big railings up for you, look. Woo. Look at this. Wow. Oh my god. Look at that. So everything's just all built on top of this rock. Ah, we can get all the way down there, look. How do we get to there? That's really where you need to be for a photo. Oh, I like how it's all floodlit at night, look. One of the most spectacular bridges in Spain. As spectacular as it is, it was nonetheless built in an atmosphere of tragedy. The previous construction having collapsed, killing 50 people. Back in the 1700s, the increasingly overcrowded city of Ronda had a problem. It had grown to the extent that it now perched on two sides of the deep El Tajo Canyon. And access between the two sides was far from optimal. Two small bridges, the Puente Romano and the Puente Arabi, already crossed the canyon but lower down and not directly linking the two sections. And so, 1730s, plans were made to construct a new bridge across the very top. They completed the bridge in good time, but not in good form. The entire bridge collapsed in 1741, killing 50 people, most of them residents. It was therefore an atmosphere of lingering tragedy that the work began on a new one. Oh, that must have been tough, to rebuild it after it had just been built and collapsed and killed all those people. I'm going to go and I'm going to take the DSLR. I have to pay to go over, which is um, quite respectable. Got the keys are in my pocket. Keep you on whilst we do this. Oh, well, you don't have to pay. Wow. Well, oh, you can only get to here though. Wow, look at that. Oh, you can go through it as well, look. Oh, yeah, the only way to get that really is down there. Nervous about holding um, devices up here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, then. Pretty bloody spectacular, that, folks, eh? Let's see what today she'll bring. Thank you. Nice of him. Let's 
to the early morning smoke of someone's home fire, wood fire just drifting gently in the breeze. Sadly, it's that time, folks. We're right up in the clouds, and it, although it says it's getting warmer in a bit, it's freezing, so enough's enough. I'm gonna put my Risha stuff back on. Now open this since, uh, we arrived in Morocco. These boots have just been sat on the top of my panniers the whole trip. They've been vessels, they've been carrying my water. Oh, it's better. I'm back on. Let's get all these vents closed. Back in warm mode. That's better. It's not bad weather at all, it's just that we're right in the clouds, so it's freezing. It's uh, 10 past 1, bit of a mile munching day today, as you know. I've been known to bunch some miles a time or two. We're getting up to Toledo, hopefully for around about half past four, which will see us done about 350 miles, I think. So we're going to knuckle down and um, crack on. As you can see, the clouds are fully set in today and it's cold, about 10 degrees. It says 14 degrees, it doesn't feel 14. It's just the clouds, when you're inside the clouds, it's just, it just feels like damp, doesn't it, you know? I cannot grumble, because, you know, had I have been given Morocco in this weather, and not been able to get the photos of the beautiful saturation that I did, I'd have, I'd have been gutted, so I am not in the slightest um, displeased with what I've got now. Oh, God, folks, today has been absolutely freezing. <laughs> Oh, well, I think the heated stuff's going on in the morning. <laughs> Luckily, because we've been slightly progressive today, let's say, our ETA has changed somewhat. We've managed to gain an hour. Being uh, slightly progressive. Gracias. Adios, amigo. Yeah, we've gained an hour. So, we'll be there in half an hour. Nice full tank again. That's two tanks today. About 350 mile, I think. 30 minutes to go with uh, 20 miles to go. 
and that takes us into the town of Toledo and then we've got to find somewhere to stay I've been locked in and loaded today let me tell you I've just been whoosh roll up just southwest of it we've not been on any motorways but we've been on all the quiet back roads so I've been uh, licking on let's say three kilometers and we're nearly there I am ready to get off as well to warm up more than anything and once we get there we shall flick up booking.com and see what's looking tasty in the area oh look at this oh wow oh that is lovely wow look at that Except the buses, I shouldn't be here, should I? I'll just be quick then. Hello? Hey. You okay? Hey. It's... <laughs> yeah? English? English, yes. Uh, it's a bit of motor. Okay. 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 Well, do you want to take a seat and I'll take a photo? I can take a photo if he wants to sit on it. Yeah, of course. He wants to show you his... Oh, okay. Oh, lovely. Nice. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. Oh, great bike. Great bike. Oh, and the Goldwing too. Beautiful bike. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, yeah. Do you want to get on? Oh, okay. Yeah? No, that's good. Okay, it's okay. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Have a nice day. And you? Thank you. are very welcome. Oh, lovely. Uh, right, let's have a look. Um. Tell you what, let's ride in. Yeah, of course. You're very welcome, very welcome. Oh, lovely, thank you. This is stunning. Ah, zip wiring across the bridge there. Wow, look at this place. Look where the sat nav's bringing me to, yes! Oh, this is fantastic! Alright, I'm going to try and find a hotel somewhere nearby. Amazing! Oh, we're having a good look around here tonight, let me tell you. Oh, look at this. Well, what started out as a, a boring old day has um, turned into an amazing destination.
Hola. Hola, hola. I'd like to make a reservation for one night. Mm -hmm. Could I park my motorcycle outside? Um, not here because we use this door. Oh, okay. Or well, down there, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Perfecto. <laughs> There's one thing, I know we're all um, very precious of our bikes, but when you get a connection with it where you've spent a lot of time like out on tour like now you really don't want to leave it anywhere done brilliant Close, that's done, that's done. Okay, let me turn. Thank you. Okay, yep. Yep. Okay then. 11 or maybe 12, we will close the main door. Okay. So if you want to come in into the hotel, you have to use the other door. Yes. Next door. Yep. Um, That's the code. I'll, I will be asleep by then. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, I will. I will. <laughs> ah, lovely. Okay. Yep. Great. Thank you very much. So lift and then down two. Yep. Okay, thank you. One on one, here we go. There we go. Cool, that'll do. 36 quid. Yes, let's get unpacked and uh, for a walk, shall we? I've never seen anything like this. I mean, that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. This is a, an old ancient city built on top of a hill. This cathedral. Oh my God. I've got to turn you around and show you this. Zoom you in, just look at the detail. Yeah. Póngase Pedro, Antonio, Pedro, póngase ahí, póngase, póngase. 